Ladies and gentlemen, I have the pleasure to inform you that this was the worst week I ever had in the history of case bag watches, but at least I know some stories to tell now. Welcome to Caseback Watches, my name is Tim and this week started badly with a robbed video, believe it or not. Somebody on YouTube has robbed a video from me, a Hamilton Watch of the Week video, just downloaded it, put it on his channel. I mean, for what end? YouTube of course detected that video, took it down or I could take it down, but it was really a bad start. Then the next thing was a spammer under every comment you found there an invitation to join some dubious telegram groups. And then two watches robbed, question mark. Um, the story is this, this is a bit unscripted because um, it's a bit of a chaos, and I, but I try to explain you what, what really happened here and what I have to do next. Um, I had two watches here in the studio. The Spider Lagon, Nevada Grentian Spider Lagon, borrowed from Alex, dear viewer Alex. And the other watch came from Julian Kampmann. This is the Alexander Shorokov Vintage 7. Nice piece. You will see it in this video. This was normally scheduled for this video. I had both um, um, watches here in the studio. I filmed both watches and then I thought, you know what? You can film that invitation, this part of the video later, and now you can return these watches to their owners, right? And then started badly. I had these two parcels, went to the post office and then this little machine was out of paper. So the guy couldn't give me a receipt and I said, well, I need that bloody receipt here. And I filmed then everything because he was incapable to change the bloody roll of paper for the machine. And so I had a bit of a bad feeling because expensive watches over 1000 euros are not insured in Germany when you send them, when you ship them domestically inside Germany. It's crazy, but it is um, as it is. And so I was a bit worried. Later uh, I told a friend I have a bad feeling. And then um, Alex wrote me an email and he said the parcel has arrived one day later without the watch. And I thought, shit, man, maybe I'm completely distracted. So I searched here everything in the, in the studio. But at the end it was a box with a watch. And, and then he said, do you use brown tape for your parcels? And I said, no, I use transparent tape because you can't put it over the, the address and everything. And he said then, well, at the bottom of the parcel is a strap of brown tape. This means somebody has opened it, the parcel and robbed the watch. And the metal bracelet is still here because it was outside of the watch box. And then I thought, all right, this is, this is um, yeah, the worst case, really. And I said to him, send me a, an invoice and then I will refund you the next day for this uh, for this watch. And then of course I called the police or I wrote an email to the police, wrote an email to DHL and then I thought, God damn it, you've shipped two watches. And I checked the tracking of both parcels and they both went through a DHL facility in Hildesheim, separated by two or three minutes. So in case they are where a guy on the hunt for watches in that, in that facility um, it, it appeared to me very likely that the other watch was stolen too. So I called or wrote an email to Julian Kampmann, Polio24, and I said, Julian, look, one watch stolen and it was very close to your watch. Please check the bloody parcel when it, when it arrives um, together with a delivery guy. And then I waited. I had to wait because the runtime of that parcel was longer. I had to wait and then Julian wrote me an email, bad news man, bad news, watch is stolen, the parcel is empty, only paper inside. And I thought, wow, what a, what, what, what a day, what a week. And then of course I realized that I have a loss of 1050 euros for watch number one and 1200 loss for watch number two because I wrote Julian, I will refund you immediately for your loss. And he wrote back, he cannot accept this and no. And I said, look, I've damaged your business and I will, uh, I, the responsibility is here and so I will pay you for that. And then I, I wrote him, let's, let's have a phone call, let's debate the details of that transaction. And a little later then we had that conversation and he said again, he will not accept money, but I said, this was my responsibility. Um, I could have sent this uh, watch with a full insurance, which is in Germany very pricey. Normal parcel 5 euros, insured parcel 35 in that, in that region. 
And then he uh, said to me, um, you know what, the parcel here looks pretty intact. There is only transparent tape and I cannot find every, and any sign um, for an unauthorized entry, let's say. And then we wondered, how is that possible? And he flipped the parcel around and then he said, oh my God, I found the watch. I'm very sorry. Um, the watch was sent without box and I think he didn't realize that he didn't send me the box. It's only the watch and I wrapped the watch in, in, in this plastic paper, this, this bubble paper and sent it back. So it was very lightweight and very small and he was so focused on the, on the theft that he thought there is no watch in the parcel but then he really found it. And I was so relieved and I thought, wow, this was, this was a close call, man. This really was a close call. So the watch I'm going to show you in a minute in the light, in the light box is not stolen, survived, but the other one is gone. And it would be really nice if you could um, write me in case you see it online. I mean, the watch is extremely easy to spot with that color. Only 25 pieces out there. And as mentioned, the bracelet is still here, so it's very likely that you will see it one day advertised online without bracelet. And the serial number is uh, four. And so this would be very nice if you can help me out with, uh, out with your attention. And in case you see the watch, then please write to watches at iCloud.com. And I think now we can go into the light box. Now we can check out the not stolen watch. Let's do it. And here we are with our Vintage 7 and as I said, this for Alexander Shorokov is a fairly simple and conservative watch. Look at this. There we have quite something to explore. But let's start with, uh, with the basics, with the measurements. And we're looking at a case diameter here of 39.5 millimeters. Length overall is 44.5, thickness 13.5 and the lug width is a convenient 20 millimeters. The watch is waterproof up to 50 meters, not much, and we see here sapphire crystals, sapphire crystals. And inside we have the vintage movement, the 2616AS Polyot movement from the 60s, but of course disassembled with new lubrification and good as new, but of course decorated. There you see it. the decoration is new. This is not from the 60s. The watch is limited to 30 pieces. As said, a very rare bird here and the price is 1,200 euros. And without VAT, I think you are in the region 1,050 US dollars in that, in that region. And now let's begin with the dial. Often with Alexander Shorokov's watches, I have the feeling there's a bit too much going on, bit too much, bit too loud. But this is upright classy here. We have this clearly a 60s design um, accentuated by the 60 on top. Then we have the other two numerals, the nine and the three. Reminds us a bit of the dashboard of a car, I think. And of course, a nice color play. This creamy white together with, with a very dark blue and these tiny dots there. So it's a very classy dial in my eyes and it's, it looks fresh, at least for me, because I've never have seen a similar design. Never, never ever. This almost like Batman wings here. Very interesting, very interesting to look at. One of these dies that are busy and, 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 and uncluttered at the same time. The nice writing here, Alexander Shorokov, well integrated date in a round um, date window, which I absolutely love. I must say absolutely love because I don't know how to explain it. It fits the nature of the watch, the round nature really. So very cool. Um, special are the hands. As you can see, we have a quite vintage looking set of hands here. Is this gold? No, I didn't find gold in the documentation, so I think it's sort of brass, or what is it? It's a very beautiful rose goldish looking material. We have a very uh, short hour hand because of the clear distinction design wise here between minutes, outer scale, and hours, inner scale. And you see there's some logic. The hour hand matches the hour scale. If, if you see the length, very precise, same thing with the minute hand, also very precise. The second hand is matches this tiny, tiny, tiny dotty scale there on the blue. See that? Here you have the crown. Also not the simple standard from the rack of crown. Brushed 
sides, high polished bezel. So overall very classy. And of course here we have the, the movement. I think these old polyed movements back then, the look wasn't so special and you can see that when you look inside to the undecorated parts. So more a workhorse, if I'm informed correctly. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, please. And of course the decoration, which is new. Wow, 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 this is, this is a really, really beautiful, beautiful look. We have a fairly good strap here, I must say. Of course, it doesn't match the quality of the case back strips, but it's a fairly good quality, I, I have to admit. I have to admit, I have to admit. Okay, operating these watches is, is um, satisfying. I can tell you this from experience because these old polyol movements, they feel substantial. You have a hand winding function and you have only one position. This is the nice feature, you only one position and you, now you can set the time. This feels excellent. Absolutely excellent, but they're somewhat basic. You see the the second hand is running still running so not hackable movement And now you may ask what do we do with the date? Where's the quick set? And this is a nice feature Because it's pretty immune against failure Nothing breaks there so quickly. Let's cycle through the day Until it's, it's changing there you are. Ah, nice one. Click. Nice, nice, nice sound. And now you go just backwards to mostly to nine or eight. Sometimes you feel a little click then. And now you can cycle through the month. I have the feeling that the date wheel, dear Alexander Shorokov, is not 100% perfect aligned. The number looks like it's a bit off to the left. I personally would regulate this. It's not so, it's not so hard for a watchmaker. So, 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 so this is the functionality and the look of the Vintage 7, a set unfortunately limited to 30 pieces. And now let's put it on the wrist. And there you are. We're close to 40 millimeters on a 17 centimeter wrist. And I say this often, 40 is the maximum I can wear, but here the relatively moderate dimensions in length are on my side because 44.5 in length is not super long and so even I can wear this watch and this is just a classy look. But really it reminds me of a stylish Batman mobile from the 60s. Welcome back, still relieved, still relieved because this by the way, means that nobody has tracked me. Imagine the case, two parcels dropped, then it would be possible, would be thinkable that really somebody has tracked me in, uh, I don't know how exactly, but criminals are sometimes not idiots. But with these two parcels and only one rob, this is pretty obvious that this is a yeah, bad luck. This is just, just bad luck. Speaking of luck, we have a winner from the last giveaway. The Vario Versa reversible watch goes to a Foster in Canada. Really, the Canadians are a lucky, lucky bunch over there because this is the second watch um, in my giveaways I sent to Canada and I have done nine giveaways. Now, the next will follow, I think, yeah, next year, I think. I'm not, not really sure, but if you're not the lucky winner now, then you can, then you have your next chance in 2023. Okay, and now we're close to the end of this video. I'd like to thank some people here. First, I'd like to thank Alex. Here's a super cool, super smart, super smart guy. Extremely relaxed. He said to me, Tim, it's a loss of money, but it's not a loss of, of health or other, other things. It's just money. We will come over this. You will come over this. Absolutely no problem. And he was super sweet and kind and, and full of understanding and completely um, without any form of anger. So really a respectable, super cool gentleman. Alex, thank you very much again for this, yeah, for this fashion to handle that, that bloody catastrophe here. And I want to thank Julian Kampmann, Polio24. Same thing, super cool gentleman, extremely relaxed, extremely fair. He really didn't want to accept my, my refund. Crazy, crazy, but of course it's a pleasure to be in contact with such gentlemen. So um, yeah, thank you both very much. And then I received a lot of emails because there was then um, later a Lagon watch on Chrono24 and several guys pointed out, Tim, there is 
probably your watch or perhaps your watch. So guys, thank you very much. It wasn't my watch, but uh, your emails will help to, to bring it back one day. And I hope I, I send an answer to everybody of you. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So if I've missed you, then please don't be, don't be upset. It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's what it was a bit too much, to be honest, this, this week. Okay, that's it now. I hope for better times, for better luck, and I hope this for me and for you. Take care, guys. Rough times, but yeah, as always, thank you very much for your attention, very much, and see you next Friday. Mm -hmm.